you don't mean it. So if there's a couple things that you can do, check on check in on the people that mean the most to you. Um, help in all the small little ways to, with the people that you can that may be at high risk for anything. The elderly that need help, maybe they need you to go shopping or get something. The kids just need someone to sit with them for five minutes and read, or if you have to sign work to them. But we are going to do our best to get you information at the academy, and I'm sure everyone will. Uh, that's going to be helpful. And we want to be positive and encouraging. And we don't want to be falsely positive. We have to really take on uh, the challenges in front of us, but the, we can do it in a more positive way. And that's all I'm asking. So a couple of things. We are going to get past this as a country, right? As a people, absolutely. And we have to work together. And it's actually nice to see people starting to work together and help each other. And so what I'm asking you to do is multiply the efforts because what you encourage multiplies and what you reinforce is what you're going to standardize. So if the, your children and the people around you are seeing you be calm and poised and helpful and not panic, they're going to be more likely to do the same. So share this with someone uh, that you think could use the message. But together, we are going to get through this. It's just a matter of time. Be positive, be realistic at the same time, but treat everyone as kindly as possible because 